Ooh, man, that looks good. But what about the SMB cold air intake? Well, it's over here and it's all packaged up. So let's go ahead and put it in this box. All right, not tier D intake, going to trailer sale. Yeah, that's the right guy. Well, let's see how much shipping is, I guess. All right, Florida, Texas. $200? What? Does the package make it all the way from Florida to Texas? Will Mark be able to install it on his YouTube channel? Find out by subscribing to Trailer Sale on YouTube. Link in description. So guys, today we will be installing the TRD cold air intake for the Toyota 4Runner. I got it at BAMS Wholesale Parts. I will leave the link down in the description for you guys with the part number. It will fit your 4Runner if it is a fifth gen with the 4.0 engine. This is made for it. So if it says it doesn't, it will. Little life hack though for you guys. After I purchased this, got people commenting, dude, if you bought it individually, like parts individually, I would have saved over a hundred bucks. So do it however you want it. If you want it to just be convenient in a box, I guess, and just order it without research, do that. But you may save some money if you guys piece it together individually. Let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. Got our little grommets. Got our new pipe right here. Here's your new TRD high flow filter and our new top cover for the filter as well and all the associated hoses and everything else that we need. As you can see right here, if BAMS Wholesale Parts doesn't say that it fits or wherever you guys get it, 2010 and up FJ Cruisers 4Runners. So in the instructions it has you take the MAF sensor wire away from this loom right here. So this loom, god damn it. So this loom right here used to be all together like this. It has this protective uh, hose clamp coating over it with like this uh, electrical tape from the factory. All I did was just take a knife, cut this a little bit, and then just be super, super careful on unrouting this whole loom all the way back. And they provide you with the new hosing that's supposed to go around this, the thing that just flipped and fell down there. And then I just cut this, uh, this is the stock one, put this back on there, and then just electrical tape it up. So MAF sensor is completely separated from the main harness. I've installed this thing right here into this hose clamp and then also install this new hose right here that they supply back up into here. Okay, next thing I've done, I've removed the grommets from my stock intake housing and as you can see, I've put them into this one. So one, two, three. They just depress out. There's a little metal washer right in the middle of them but you just depress them out and then just go ahead and put them into the new intake box. Okay, next we're gonna take this rubber grommet that they supply you with. As you can see, it says TRD right here up at the top. We're just gonna go ahead and put this side into the fender well right here. Just kind of cup it in, just goes right in like that. And then these two tabs right here are gonna go from the box when it inserts into the fender well right here. Okay, so as you can see, that is what I'm talking about, those little uh, bumps right here. We're gonna go ahead and take the box, settle it in, and then just work it until, and then just work it until it's in that rubber grommet securely. Go ahead and reinstall your three screws that were originally holding in your stock box, and go ahead and tighten them down. Make sure that it gets in all the crevices and it's all the way in. Perfect. Next, we're gonna take this little grommet right here. We're gonna go ahead and just put it on the top of the air filter box right here. Like so. And then we will take this little filter reset thingy-majiggy, put it in right here and just put it straight into that grommet. Okay, next we're gonna take the bigger hose clamps, this little uh, grommet right here and the top of the intake cover. Go ahead and put one hose clamp on. Once you can see on the inside that it is visibly all the way sealed, go ahead and take a flathead or a socket, tighten this guy back up. These clamps go on, they kind of hook underneath and then they pull up like that. Then you're going to go ahead and take your intake top. There's hinges as you guys can see right here and right there. This top, so it rests on these hinges which is honestly a dumb design from Toyota and then it just closes forward like so. 
and then just go ahead and it's a pain in the butt to lift up but you just put it to latch it right there and then it seals decently this is a pain in the butt to get on and off so hopefully the filter stays good for a while because the way Toyota designed this with this kind of plasticky flimsy hinge thing here and that there is honestly annoying I guess that's why <laughs> they gave you this little uh, filter thing right here that will show you when this thing's actually bad because it is a pain to put on. Don't forget to take your mass airflow sensor off of your stock tubing right here and then go ahead and tighten it onto the TRD intake tube. Next we're going to take this coupler right here. The smaller end of it is going to go onto our throttle body spacer right here. As you can see there is a larger hole and then the male to male fitting that they provide you. That's where this vacuum hose is going to plug into the top and then this hose right here with the adapter is going to plug into it as well. Okay so we now have the grommets over here with a loose hose clamp ready to put that in and we also have the hose clamp over here. I've attached this vacuum line like I said, zip tied that a little bit right there, plugged in back here. This dude is on. This uh, to put on was a little difficult, guys, but just a little bit of uh, just some dry lubricant or just a little bit of spit, you know, it's good to go. Now, the next step is just to finagle this into this area and tighten it down. And we have it in. I had to twist the tube a little bit right here, but you can see we are flush with this and we are also flush up here. The math sensor is flat and the TRD is flat as well. So if it's a little kinked for you guys, just go ahead and rotate it. Don't tighten anything down until it is perfectly flush. Then there's a plastic plug that's required to be put right here. And then the last step and the reason why you had to disconnect the math sensor is because it comes all the way over here and then under the tube and plugs right in. So there it is guys completely installed. Let's go ahead and start this thing up. And just to show you guys some of the wiring. So with the MAF sensor going underneath, you have this wire coming down this way and it plugged into, it snapped in like this little 90 degree, snapped into the box right here. This little bend that it has right here just rests up against the box. Like I said, this vacuum line right here, just zip tied it right there very loosely so it can still have its suction and then ran the MAF sensor up into here. So that's it guys, that's the install for it. Some of the instructions I didn't do because I didn't see them necessary, some of the T zip ties and all that stuff. Also for the passenger side fender, it says to take out your wheel well liner to take out some intake thing. Mine doesn't have that. Uh, it did show an FJ Cruiser in that photo. Getting in the vehicle, no check engine lines, nothing like that. Rev the piss out of it, went all the way up to 5,000 RPMs at the end, and you finally heard the intake growl. The SMB cold air intake that I had in this prior uh, you would really hear that thing growl. So, so curious to see how this thing is going to be on the road. There will be videos for that, miles per gallon, everything, how it is stock, how it is with the TRD exhaust and pedal commander, all that stuff in the future. So if you guys are new around here, please consider subscribing. Returning subscribers, thank you very, very much. I freaking appreciate your support. Guys, if this was helpful in any way, please give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. All right, see you later.